Hey everybody, Jeremy here, and in this video, we're going to be taking a look behind the scenes, so to speak, on what I do when I film the videos that you see. Now, I am not using the camera that I use to record my videos, I'm using another camera, but I'm just kind of giving you like the straight up raw look at the area in which I do all this stuff from. Because I know you only see this one little narrowed section. When I do my videos, you see probably about that much. But there's so much other stuff that kind of goes into this. So I'm just going to show you all around. I just got finished doing the Loot Crate unboxing. So there's a bunch of Loot Crate stuff kind of like all over the place, like on the floor and everything. But this here, I mean, this is the this is the table that that I'm sitting at when I do my videos. And uh, you see me from the long end, long end of the table for about down there. And then I usually have this camera right here set up on a tripod and tripod takes me back depending on which lens I use we might be about this far back or we could be about this far back and just take a look at these boxes here I did that Dorbs haul video and I have not put those boxes away so there those boxes are there and there are some Amazon boxes there and uh, as far as lighting goes we have the regular dining room light that doesn't provide much light for videos. But then I also have this thing. This is from, uh, this is I believe a Lima Studio light. Um, you can get these from Amazon. I think it comes in packs or a pair. And uh, I think it's about 70 bucks or so. You get two lights. I'm only using one light. The other light is uh, in another room. But I just kind of have this light just sort of and on me enough to get most of my face although if you look on the right side of my face it's still a little bit dark and in shadow if I had another if I took the other light and brought it in here I would shoot it from this angle I would have the light over here so it can get me from the uh, right side of my face and then over here will get me on the left side of my face and down here here are some of the dwarves that I have not yet put up so this was the uh, I need to put the Batman back from where he was, but you know, this is the Robin and the Groot and you know, some other stuff and that's the Halo um, cold thingy and over here on this side, when I uh, take photos and put them on boxes, if you want to, you can follow me on boxes. It's under my name, Jeremy T. Hill, and it's also, uh, I'll leave a link in the description so you can see it there too. So um, this is where I shoot those actual pictures. I try to get them on this wall here so that in the background what you see is basically just this wall and then I'll have the light moved so I can kind of get them right here and it's just sitting on a bar stool so that's that if you're ever wondering what this picture was in the background this is from the USA Today special edition during the Back to the Future um, anniversary in which USA Today had a mock uh, front page that was taken directly from Back to the Future Part 2 so that's what I have framed up here it was kinda hard to find but I'm so glad I got that here and then of course you've seen this a bunch of times this is the shelf where I keep all the Funko Pops and most of the action figures and minifigures and stuff like that I'm thinking of getting like one of those minifigure display cases and just taking all of these Lego minifigures and putting them on that display and putting it on the wall Perhaps not this wall, because I need to find another place to move into soon enough. Alright, so as far as the lenses go, when you see the videos where I'm super close, I'm usually using this lens right here. This is a Nikon D7000 DSLR. You do not need this type of a camera in order to do YouTube videos like this, but this is just what I have because I was also you know, really into photography. But this is an older 70 to 210 telephoto lens. It's a push-pull zoom lens so basically if I do this with one hand you want to zoom in and out you just push it forward and we can zoom back out you push it back in can't do it with one hand holding this camera but uh, I like this for uh, you know compressing my surroundings and you know just getting a little bit of the the good old background blur going on can't get too much background blur simply because um, the background is very close to me as I'm sitting down and uh, where I keep some of the other little figures and whatnot, I have no other place to put them. So, you know, that's where Goku is. And uh, Vegito actually fell. Because I think 
I think my apartment is at a bit of an angle. You can see how he's sort of falling over right here. So he tends to fall, so I, I put Vegito somewhere else. But you don't really have to see any of this when I film the videos or anything. And then when I want to edit, I just bring over the good old laptop right there. And then I edit the videos in Premiere Pro. I'll just go to Premiere Pro right here so you can see that I am working on the Loot Crate video. There I am. So putting the audio and the video together. And what I record my audio on is, hang on, let me grab it. Grab it, grab it, grab it, grab it. All right, couple of these. What I do, what I record the audio on, I have this. I don't know the exact model number of this Sony recorder. I can't even get focus. Focus, all right, so I got this Sony recorder, which I used to record myself on, and this is like in my pocket all the time. And then I also have this Sony lavalier microphone, which is what you see um, just clipped to my shirt all the time. And you know this video is raw because the focus is not working on uh, for this lens. So Nikon 1J1 kit lens is not very good for focusing, but I didn't want to bring the other lens because it's much too tight. Yeah, so that's pretty much it. And then when I want to get my focus before I shoot the video, I just use this uh, little remote shutter I got from Amazon. It focuses in on me. I take a picture. Then I zoom in on the picture. It can, it's probably in the back of my camera. Let's see here. Oh, the memory card's not in there because I'm using the same memory card for this here. But anyway, I take a picture. I zoom in on the picture. I make sure it's sharp. And then I can hit record. Um, I don't put like something as a placeholder for me in this chair and then you know do it that way I take a picture and then I know once I take the picture the focus will not move so I just gotta make sure I stay in that one spot but yeah that's pretty much it that's a little behind the scenes look at what I do and where I am when I record my videos now this space is not gonna stay here forever like I said I am gonna have to start looking for another place very very soon and uh, who you know God willing that next place will be bigger and better than this. And I'll be able to get those Detolf shelves. And I'll be able to go, bam, Detolf right there. Bam, Detolf right there. Funko Pops, all these little figures right here that I have anywhere to put them. They're taking over my whole house. I'll be able to put them in their proper storage places. And it would be awesome. It will be awesome. So that's it. Thank you so much for watching this video. I know that the audio is not that great. I know that the video quality is not that great, but this is just a raw behind the scenes. Oh my God, can you believe it's messy? <gasps> Imagine that. That's just how it is. You know, it's not a messy place, but when I'm recording these videos and I get all this stuff that I need to review and I'm doing it back to back to back, you know, stuff piles up and I'll clean it later. But there you are. I am a real person. So thank you so much for watching everyone. And until next time, I'm Jeremy. I'll talk to you later. Let me know if you want to see more videos like this in the future. All right. See you later.